welcome to today's tutorial so today i'm going to be showing you how to make a long six pieces dress okay um there are actually two types of methods to making um a long six pieces dress there is what is known as one the demarcation method And two, the straight cut method. These two methods can be used to create a long six pieces dress. Now, the demarcation method is used mostly if you have a by 45 inches of wide fabric. Okay, in this case, um, you're trying to create a long six pieces dress from a fabric that is not long enough to enable you to cut out your style from from the straight from the fabric so you have to create a demarcation at the waistline okay then the second method is the straight cut method this method is when your fabric is long enough to get to the bottom of to get to your full length okay possibly a 60 width um, fabric this makes it easy for you to cut out your six pieces dress um, straight forward without having to create a demarcation at the waistline okay um the method used to achieve this straight cut method is the precessing. So using your precessing, you can actually cut out your uh, six pieces dress using the straight cut method. So I'm going to be illustrating how to apply these two methods um, in creating a six pieces dress pattern. Okay, so for the demarcation, we are going to need our regular basic bodies. Okay, as we have already explained in our previous classes, you can actually manipulate these blocks, the basic bodies block and the straight skirt block to create a six pieces dress. So I'm going to start first with the bodies. So with the bodies, we are, you can see we have a front piece and a back piece right here, all drafted out on our basic bodies block. You can also see that this block has no pitting, it also has no dart. So we have to include all of this in our six pieces dress. Okay, so the measurements you're going to need to achieve all of this are uh, one your bust circumference so for the sake of this tutorial i'll be using mine mine is 38 inches then the second that we are going to need is the waist circumference and this mine is 34 inches then the next we are going to need is our uh, okay I think that's just all after all we are making a simple six pieces dress so these are basically the measurements we are going to need to um, draft out our bodies it is also assumed that this bodies was drafted out using your basic measurements your body's basic measurements so we are going to mark out the various body bodies levels on her basic bodies block which is the busts and of course the waist 
okay so you can see the bodice does not have a dot so we have to include a dot on our bodies so this also depends on the kind of dot that you want to create you can use a person same dot or you can use a regular dot any that you choose to make on your bodies it's fine okay so I'm going to be using our precious seam <coughs> our precious seam from the armhole now remember I told us in our previous class um, how to use the precious seam so we're going to be applying that on our bodies and we are going to begin from the front piece now as you can see this is the boss level and this is the waist level okay so the first thing you are going to do is measure out one inch below your bust level okay so one inch below your bust level you measure and you mark okay so this is one inch below the bust level so from this center front piece we are going to measure out one eighth of our waist measurement i'm not using my um bust measurement because i am making a dress so and my fitting is going to be on my waistline so whatever uh, dots that i put at my waistline on my body should also be the same um Parts that I put on my skirt, and since the skirt part of the dress uses the waist measurement for fitting, we are going to be using that for our bodies. So we won't be using bodies like I was teaching um, us in the physical class for those who, um, uh, during the uh, physical workshop, during the free physical workshop we are currently doing. I told them when it comes to using that, it has nothing to do with the bust. The other time. You can apply a precision <clears throat> anytime it has to do with the bust is when you are trying to pad breast pad your outfit. But right now we're not trying to breast pad our outfit, we're trying to make a simple dress. So um we are gonna be using our waist measurements to determine where our that will be on our front and our back piece. Okay, so the waist measurement is 34 now 34 divided by 8 so this will give us 4.25 so we're going to measure 4.25 here 4.25 let's assume it's here so this is our 4.25 so we mark it right here and we'll do the same at the boss level for the back piece mark our 4.25 as well <clears throat> so the next thing we are going to do is um, extend this line to the bottom of our bodies and do the same for the back piece so you can see that right okay great so at the bottom of our bodies we'll go ahead and measure half an inch it all depends on the amount of that you want to use the standard that measurement is one inch so which is 0 0.5 here 0 0.5 here do the same for the back piece and then we draw out our regular dots don't forget we are making a pressure seam but we'll begin with a regular dot okay. Okay, so you can see the dots started at the bust level at the back piece, but it started one inches below the bust level for the front piece. So you can see the dot at the back is higher than the dot on the front. So the next thing we're going to do is measure our ham hole. Okay, so you take your measuring tape and measure the distance between here and here of your hand hole you can simply take the middle of it okay you simply take the middle of it okay 
then using your pieces seam ruler just go on to curve your armhole into your regular dot so we do the same for the back piece so you can see we have created a piece of seam for our front and our back bodies okay so now we've taken care of the bodies part of our bodies of our dress remember we are doing the demarcation method okay of creating a long six pieces dress so now we are done we move down to the skirt so this is a straight skirt block and this is the front this is the back and of course we included a zip allowance because most of the fabric used in this country are non stretch fabrics so um we majorly have to use zippers in everything that we do so now this is a basic skirt block <clears throat> and you can see it stops right here at the knee level and this is obviously a hip level and this is a waist level so but because we want our dress to be long to have a flare we are simply going to trace out this basic block and, and try to adjust it <coughs> on our new pattern paper so you take a longer a longer paper okay so now you can see I've traced it out on a longer um, paper so the next thing we are going to do is insert our dot now remember we used our waist measurements to determine the piece of seam on our bodies so we are going to use that same measurement too for our waist and remember it is 4.75 so we measure out 4.75 by the way, let's mark out the letters so that we know this is our hip, and this right here is our waist, and this right here is our knee. Okay, so from the waist level, we measure for both the front and the back piece. This is our front, and this is our back. So, for front, let's assume it's right here. So we we'll mark, we we'll do the same here and we we'll mark. So this is our 4.25 inch and this is our 4.25 inch. So now we've created a dart for our skirt. So the next thing we're going to do is determine how long we want our dart to be in our skirt. The standard is 4 to 5. That depends on your hip height. Okay, so I'm going to measure out my five inches. This is my five inches right here, and this is my five inches right here. Then, just like we did with our bodies, we take half inch here, half inch here, half inch here, half inch here, half inch here. and then we we'll join the lines. Now, because we are trying to make a six pieces skirt, we're going to be using this dot to determine our demarcation on the skirt. We are not going to be creating a dot because by the time we slash this, we've actually created, we've technically created a dot. So what we do is, first of all, you try to determine your width okay this is our height level okay 
Okay, this is our tied lever our basket. So we want to determine how wide our tie is so that we can pencil down our skirt because a six piece skirt is curved by the side and then in. Okay, so we want to determine how the pencil it would be. So you measure out your tied measurement. So when you measure out your tied measurement, let's assume my tied measurement is 14 inches. 14 inches divided by 2 you will have 20 so I'm going to measure 20 sorry divided by 4 beg your pardon and you have 10 inches so I'm going to measure about 10 inches from here and mark so here is my 10 inches and I'm going to do the same for the side 10 inches and then mark So using my hip cover, I join the points like so. And I'm just going to use my ruler to complete the curve. So you can see my original I penciled my strip skirt so now I want to include the six pieces now a six pieces skirt it begins from the knee level on top of the knee not exactly on the knee please should be about two inches above the knee level so you measure out two inches from the knee level and mark Now following these dots that we have created, you just draw a straight line, okay, from here, downward and stop at the upper knee level, okay, you can see that, do the same for the front as well, upper knee level, okay then for the sides you just extend okay your flare from here so you can decide to go let's assume that this is a straight line okay from here okay to the length of where you want your skirts to stop So this is our skirt length. Okay. Then we'll do the same for our dots here. I'll extend it. Now you can decide that you want your flat to be five inches wide from here. Okay, so this is and this is five inches. Now, because we are taking this five inches, every flare that we create for our six pieces must also be five inches. So we're drawing this point, this point. Okay. Then for the dots, we'll also extend it. So extend it by five inches. Okay, do the same for this five inches. Okay, so we've created from here a dot from here. This will also be extended by five inches to this point. Oh, sorry, by the way, you're all supposed to start at this level. Okay, sorry about that. Now that we have drafted our six pieces, 
you won't need to measure two inches from the bottom okay so that's what you end up this is our two inches from the bottom two inches this level is called hemming so what you do is simply curve your six pieces so you can see we have actually created a six pieces now when i cut it out you see how it looks so i'm gonna trim. i'm gonna cut out the front piece first now remember this is in a folding so this part is in a folding and this part is in a folding okay so you cut out your new pattern paper then we're going to place it on our so that's too much oh, so the six pieces sorry so we're going to trace out our front piece the mid front piece first on our pattern paper So this is our main front piece, so I'm just going to cut it out. So you write it out and name this mid front piece. So put this one aside. Okay. Then we'll go to the single second one. You also put it in the folding. You have your two side pieces for your front and your mid front piece. You can see it right here. So you can see three pieces for our front piece. Okay, now we've created this for our front piece. We'll now move to the back piece. Go on and fold your fabric. Nicole has as before. So these are the two side pieces of our back piece so this is our back piece you can see the sleep allowance and you can see for both the front for both sides as well so now we have done cutting out all the pieces for our skirt part so we're going to cut out for our flawless now remember this is the folded side of our bodies so we are going to fold our paper just assume we're cutting out so it's, this is assumed that this is the folded part so i'm going to trace out the front first So this is the front piece with the two sides of fabric. Now when you place your mid pieces for your front skirt, you can see it tallies with the width of your dot. Okay, so this is why it was important to use your waist measurement. Okay. So this is the front piece of a six pieces long six pieces dress this is the front part of our six pieces dress so we'll now move on to the back
pieces. So these are the pieces for the six pieces and this is the back piece. So this is our back and front back pieces. So that concludes our making the long scissors presses kit using the demarcation method. So I'm going to show you how to do the straight cut method.